hello everyone so previously we had covered four digital networking devices and uh, we had unboxed them we had introduced them and gave a preview of them so today in this video we will be going into the features of each and every device one step at a time and uh, you can also read an article about this same thing on our site that is www.thinkdigit.com so let's get started So starting up with the Digisol DGBR1016NC, this is a device from Digisol's Ranger series which, has, which is a 150 Mbps wireless multifunction broadband router and as you can see it is a pretty small device. It is actually having a de design that is suited for, as a wall pluggable de uh, thing. You can easily connect this device to a wall socket and power it on. So basically what happens is you can take this plug and can slide it over this device and it snaps on easily. So now you can connect it to the wall socket and power this device on. Secondly, what this device has is a small LED indicator at the front which notifies you about the status of the device. Next it has a AP off and AP on button at the side which lets you easily switch between AP off mode or AP on mode so this makes your work effortless next we have is a van port that is the usual fare and besides that we have a small pinhole reset button with a USB port over here and a USB port below that so basically the significance of this USB port is that you can connect a 3G dongle to this port for sharing your 3G connection on the network. So it identifies your 3G dongle easily and lets you connect and share your connection. This port has the feature of providing charging function to your portable devices such as you can connect your Android or iOS devices to this port such as a smartphone or tablet and power those devices or charge them through this port. And the device also has an integrated antenna and power adapter and uh, it has a wireless speed of up to 150 mbps with a good wlan security measure built into it and the device also has a good feature that is you can use this device with an app developed by digisol called as digishare app uh, that is available on the google play store or the apple app store and you can download it and use this device for media sharing or uh, media streaming through this device. So the next device we have from Digisol is the DGWR3001N. This is a 300 Mbps wireless repeater from Digisol and is also based on the same design philosophy followed by its sibling that is the DGBR1016NC that we have seen previously. So basically this device also has a wall pluggable design but instead of having a removable or a detachable wall plug this device has a wall plug that is attached to the device. So next the device is very small and portable and you can carry it easily around wherever you want to take it with you and the next thing we have is it has a couple of indicators on the front with starting up with the signal indicator LED, a WLAN indicator LED, a power LED, a WPS LED and a LAN LED. So basically these LEDs will notify the status of the device in the current position at which it is running. Next we have a nice small button for WPS or reset at the bottom which you can use easily to switch on or of WPS functions. At the side of the device you can see that there is AP, repeater and client. So basically this device has a tri mode operation which allows this device to, uh, to transfer between uh, uh, access point mode, a repeater mode or a client mode. So the user of this device can switch between any of these modes and use this device accordingly. 
next we have is a small on and off button at the bottom that allows for easy on and easy off for the device there is a lan port at the side of the device which allows you to connect a lan cable to the device so basically this being a wireless repeater this extends your wifi coverage and is the best device for your small office or home use it also comes with a lan cable with it inside the box moving forward we have the digisol dg br1000 nu which is a 150 mbps wireless micro broadband router from digisol's ranger series so this device is made to be very small so i don't think i can see this device on the desk right now can you spot it so basically as i said before it is so damn small that it was hidden beneath the charger and we couldn't see it easily so this is the first time we we seen such a small router from a company and the digisol dg br1000 nu is certainly a very very small one so moving on to its features this device is powered by a micro usb cable that is provided with the device so basically you can connect your micro usb cable to this port and uh, power this device on at the side you will see a small reset and wps button that allows you to just reset the device or turn the wps mode on or off at the bottom we have a lan port and a wan port which allows you to easily connect the device to a wired connection and access your network this is the detail sticker of the device at the top we see a power led a w lan led a wan led and a lan led all these leds notify the user about the status of the device at the current time so this device being small it also has a very small charger that is easily pocketable and you can carry it around with you whenever you want to go and take this device outside so it has a nice design with a detachable plug provided by digisol so you just have to take this plug and connect it to the device and it will snap on easily for removing it you just need to press this device here and it will snap out this all also provides us with a cable the device lan cable with the box and as said previously the as the device is powered by a micro usb power cable they also have provided a nice long micro usb cable with the device to power it on so the final device from digisol we have for today's video is the dg br 4313 ng which is a 300 mbps wireless green 3g broadband router which belongs to the ranger series from digisol and is made to be a green product that means that it is a very energy efficient product looking at the product you can see that it comes in a completely black color and a black design with a nice glossy finish at the top at the front we have a host of led indicators which notify the user about the status of the device for example this led shows the status of the power this is for wlan wan lan ports 1 2 3 and 
the model number of the device is also mentioned at the front. Moving at the back, we get two antennas which are rotatable easily and can be placed depending on the choice of the user. It has a pivot sort of a design which allows you to keep both the antennas in different angles opposite to each other or parallel to each other. Next we have a on off switch at the bottom, a reset and WPS button, 4 LAN ports numbered 4, 3, 2, 1 and a van port with a 5 volt DC power input and a USB connection. So basically the significance of this USB port is that it allows you to connect a 3G dongle to the router which is EVDO or HSPA compatible and allows you to share the connection from that 3G router or dongle to your network. At the bottom, this all has provided some nice rubber gripping at all the corners so that the device does not move from the table if you push it and it stays put. So Digisol has thoughtfully provided a small stand with the device which allows you to mount this device vertically. That is, first you can use these antennas and swivel them around in a vertical position so that they face upwards like this take the device here use the stand and stick it in this small crevice that is behind the device and just snap the stand in it plugs in easily and mount this device like this so as you can see that the device has been easily mounted and it stands vertically on a surface without any movement. So you can place this device anywhere you want now in a small corner where there is not enough space and mount this device vertically. As this one has provided rotatable antennas with the device, it becomes very easy to rotate these antennas in a position that will enable you to have a better reception for your Wi-Fi signal. Moving on, we also get a small USB extension cable from Digisol with this device. This cable basically allows you to connect your uh, 3G dongle to this port and connect the other end of this port to the included USB port on the device. Digisol also provides us with a small LAN cable which will be enough for using this device on a network. Next, what Digisol provides is a power adapter, very a decent but well built power adapter with the usual power port which you can plug to the device easily and power it on. As this is a wireless 3G broadband router. Uh, Digisol has made a device, made this device, made this device to have high internet access throughput, wireless speed up to 300 Mbps, as it is based on the 802.11 B, G, and N wireless specifications. Uh, it has four wired LAN ports, about 10 to 100 M, and one WAN port 10 to 100 M. Uh, it supports DHCP client and server uh, for easy IP address setup. It allows multiple users to share. A single internet line and for security it has built-in features such as uh, special applications and QoS DMZ virtual servers and access control with a firewall it also allows you to monitor the router status like DHCP client log system log security log and device connection status so basically this is a pretty decked up device from Digisol and you can easily use this device for your home or small office and stay tuned for 
more videos from us on these devices as we'll do an article about this device with other devices mentioned previously before so as always thanks for watching